As you all know, the episode 67 update added the Scientist TV Man. And you could purchase it for only 299 Robux inside of the shop. But what if I showed you guys some broken things that you could do with this little guy? Now, I did actually trade mine away. So what I'm going to have to do is buy another one of these for this video. So one like equals one Robux back, bro. But there we go. We now have it. Now, what if I told you you could possibly be hard mode with only two units in the game? The only units you would need would be the engineer cameraman, which I actually have right here. But you could use an alternative to this, something that just spawns in stuff. As well as obviously the scientist TV man that got added this update. This a combination of an engineer and the scientist TV man is actually very overpowered. I'm about to show you guys exactly why I say that. So firstly, let's go ahead and go into the Palm Paradise map. Now I will say I do not think you can replicate this in Nightmare Mode or the Abysmal Mode. But I have heard this is possible. So this is kind of a myth video to see are these things even possible in the game. And wait, actually I forgot something. I just noticed you need a pumpkin farm. I wouldn't say these things count as a unit just because you don't actually like obtain any damage from them. But yeah, you need a pumpkin farm as well as a scientist cameraman. If you have both of them, use both. If you don't, just use one or the other. But let's go ahead and go back in. But you, what you want to do right off the bat is actually go ahead and place down a pumpkin farm somewhere over here. I mean, it doesn't exactly matter where you even place it to be honest, but I just prefer putting them here so that whenever the explosive toilets come through they go right this way and then you'll get enough money to place down another one which you just want to place wherever just make sure it's somewhere in the front and you're gonna do this all the way up to wave three and right now we are wave two so we're gonna do this one more time with another pumpkin farm there we go boom there is our third one that we have now placed down and you can also go ahead and place down a meta cameraman right here somewhere with it but now that we have enough money we want to go ahead and place the scientist tv man now i'm gonna place one somewhere around here and everything that has already gotten through we're just gonna leave it be because I can't do much about it and it will not matter. Now for this wall that we just actually placed down, you're going to go ahead and place down another one but a lot further down the map somewhere over there and then as soon as you see this guy break you're actually going to upgrade it so that the wall instantly comes back you don't have to do that but i think it is very useful especially if your other wall breaks like it just did and i'm also going to now actually begin placing down my engineer cameramans because these guys are going to start summoning in units for us which are going to start doing damage the point of this is basically that we're playing completely passive. I am also going to go ahead and upgrade the engineer twice, just like so, so that one of them has a ton of health. And as you can see, my wall is holding back all of these units for a very long time. So this is going to allow me to place down a lot of these little guys, and we're, it's just going to give them a lot of time to keep spawning. You do also want to actually begin upgrading the other wall as well and i know i did just upgrade it twice but it is fine it won't matter too much because either way we're trying to do as much damage as we can and in the meantime i'm actually gonna go and place down more pumpkin farms like right down the middle since this is where they're gonna get stunned and i don't really care if they get stunned or not but there we go we have the max amount of those so now we can just go ahead and keep placing scientist cameramans and i'm gonna place some all the way down there so that you know they prevent my stuff from getting stunned and now we have placed on the maximum troops possible so what i'm gonna keep focus on doing is upgrading my engineer cameraman and oh my god as you can see now it is level five and this wall has yet to break even once bro and okay now it did break 
but we should be able to beat this entire mode by simply upgrading our stuff like this the entire time and it looks like that mission is going pretty well so far as you can see i just noticed i had auto skip on bro so you do want to actually go ahead and turn that off i don't recommend it at all but i mean hey if you're easily getting through all of this definitely keep it on there's no point in having it off but for now, I'm going to keep it off so that we ensure everything does damage. I do also want to keep upgrading my engineers, bro, because these are so helpful. By the way, this is not going to be the only thing I'm going to actually be showing you guys in this video. There's a whole bunch more of things that you can actually do that make this even more overpowered. And also things that you can do, especially if you're like lower in the game and you don't have an engineer or so. But firstly, let's go I beat this mode, bro, because we are easily getting through it. And yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this wall so that it takes back a lot of the damage. And the good part about like the walls at a certain point, they actually start doing damage back. Like as you can see, none of these guys can hit the wall because they are doing damage back against the enemies. All of these guys are getting through our wall, bro, but it should be perfectly fine because we still have the engineers. And I actually have some of the tanks coming through now, which is amazing. The new walls are essentially a kind of a newer version of the engineer, in my opinion. But I do think the engineer is still a little bit better than the wall. But whenever you combine the both of them, it is actually insane. But let's go ahead and max out our wall. And it's probably going to break, but it is fine. We could go ahead and max it out. And oh no, bro, my guy fell asleep. But if we go ahead and max it out literally any second now that bro decides to wake up. And now nothing is going to get passed through here. But I'm pretty sure you guys can see how easy it is to beat the game like this. I mean, it's very easy, and not only that, but it's also very fast that you actually win. Because the Scientist TV Man holds up so much stuff to where it lets, like, your engineers and all of that stuff just keep spawning in stuff and not being attacked by enemies at all. Now, this unit can be even more of a crazier experience. All you need to use for this one, this one's a lot cheaper in my opinion to get and a lot easier for most of you guys. And that would be getting a scientist TV man in which I have right here. As well as obviously your money units, which is gonna for me be the pumpkin farmer. I think it's better than the scientist cameraman considering I'm not gonna fully upgrade it. And it's really cheap to upgrade, so I really like, like it. And then I'm also gonna need the laser cameraman car as well as the sinister cameraman. And lastly, I mean, you could just put on anything on your team. I'm just going to do engineer because why not? But you could put any mythic that you want. And this is a very cheap unit team that you can use because with this team, you will literally be able to beat the like abysmal mode solo. I'm not even joking. I managed to do it two times. And I mean, I've only played like three times once. I didn't really try. And then the other two, when I tried, I actually won. Now I will say fair warning, I did beat it with engineer. So I still recommend having some sort of spawn unit. If you don't, it is perfectly fine. Just try another strat. I'm sure there's a different unit that can do the job. And with that, you can literally finish all of these quests super fast, bro. These quests will literally be the easiest thing that you do when you do it like this. And let let me go ahead and just show you guys because why not? Right off the rip, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and place down the usual stuff, aka the pumpkin farmers, bro, because these guys are what's gonna make me money. And we are gonna need a lot of money during this match. And as soon as I get the first uh, set of like cash, I'm gonna go ahead and place down an engineer cameraman just somewhere off to the side so that we can start actually doing damage while we keep working on our farms. If you don't have engineer cameraman, definitely you use something else that is gonna do damage for you while you keep placing farms down and there we go now i have enough to afford a laser cameraman car which i'm gonna place just like so so that it hits everything in this little area now some stuff get through which for me i think some will that is gonna be perfectly fine you're just gonna have to let it go and i'm gonna go ahead skip this wave so that we can upgrade our laser cameraman car and start doing more damage and speed to these enemies 
and as soon as I can, I want to go ahead and keep placing engineer cameramans because what we're trying to do is hold back these guys until we can start placing some walls down. Walls in this area are gonna have to be a lot more upgraded just because like things in here are way more expensive, bro. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place one right there. As you can see, it literally instantly broke. So as you can tell, it's gonna be a lot more expensive to collaborate um, the walls because you have to actually keep upgrading them if you don't upgrade these guys They're literally gonna do no good for you. Yeah I mean two enemies right there and this guy's wall already broke, bro So what I'm gonna do is go ahead keep upgrading it and now it is actually gonna start shooting So this is gonna make a quite a big difference as you guys can see though these guys are trying to stun my uh laser cameraman car but they're really unable to do that because the laser cameraman car has the ability to or well i guess it is protected by these pumpkin farmers that i have actually placed over here and some stuff is getting through but that is to be expected and it is a little bit hard to do it by yourself so i do recommend having like one other person that at least has a laser cameraman car or something like that that is going to be able to help you defend against all of this stuff that is coming through another really good strat that i've seen a lot of people do is actually place your farms around the pumpkin farm or around the scientist tv man because if you didn't know whenever things such as the claw toilets come through they stun your characters now what they do stun is the closest thing to them and when they do stun stuff like that you actually slow down their pace like as you guys can see this guy just stunned it but he, since he was flying he didn't slow down but when a claw toilet comes right here it's actually gonna stun and it's gonna be slowed down which one is gonna give the engineers or your spawner units to do damage as well as the turrets on these guys on the barrier because if you didn't know they do pretty decent damage near the end especially when they're very close to getting max upgraded and you can do this literally on any mode. I'm right now doing it on the abysmal mode. So this is the hardest mode you can do it in. But I do want to go ahead and start upgrading my laser cameraman car over here. Because I did accidentally auto skip a few times. So it's going to be a little bit hard to defend this. But we should still be good regardless. Because if I upgrade my engineers over here. They are going to be doing a lot more damage. And I can actually go ahead and place down another one. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? And what in the world bro? Uh bro. Evan. What are you doing here? Why did Evan just randomly join our game where did he go bro i could have sworn i just saw him flying there he is look at him he is literally flying around the map yo guys i think we have a hacker in the game uh we need to get this guy banned he is floating he has like robux coming out of his bag yeah after i spent so much money on those candy crates man let's go just time this new unit is op i definitely I really like this unit i honestly hope they make more things like this he just buffed it wait and now shoots big rocket on last level wait what wait this is his rocket wait there's no way it does that he said do you have the new unit yes i do i actually placed it over here but his wall is broken he said try it after this match Ooh, okay it only works in new matches okay so i'm assuming it's not in this match because this is like more of an outdated match i mean yeah as you guys can see the game updated eight minutes ago and i've been in this match for over 10 minutes Okay, I'm looking at the changes right now, guys, and they actually buffed the Scientist TV, man. It heals 10% every 10 seconds, as well as when it's on level 7, it now shoots massive rockets, which do massive damage. And they did also buff the, uh, like, rocket cameraman and camera attack helicopter, in case you guys were using it. These new changes are going to actually make a massive impact, bro, that, I mean, it's, it's so surprising that this happened right as I am recording this video for you guys. So this unit is literally about to be broken, bro. Let's go ahead and test it out inside of the Palm Paradise mode, just so I don't have to worry about the graveyard mode being a little bit hard. 
Okay, so we have started it, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and just instantly place this guy down because now he's gonna upgrade in health whenever he actually starts taking damage. And it's apparently 10% every 10 seconds, and there you go. As you saw, it instantly upgraded right there. So any second now, you guys will see that it's gonna slowly go back up in health, and there we go. It is going back up. So that is really cool that they did that. But we do need a more of an income source. So we're going to go ahead and actually start placing down these pumpkin farmers around this little area. As you guys can see, some stuff did get through since the wall did eventually end up getting destroyed. But that is going to be perfectly fine after I place down a little bit more pumpkin farms. Because we're going to start upgrading this thing to the max. Okay, here we go. Let's go skip and actually begin upgrading this guy. And now it is level 3 doing 10,000 damage. Not quite where we want it to be yet because we want to get it maxed out like Evan said. And hopefully we'll be able to do that really soon. And the good thing is, since it is a 10% upgrade every 10 seconds, this guy actually gains like 1,000 health every 10 seconds. And if I'm not skipping the wave, it's going to be gaining a lot of health by the time everything from down there gets to him. Okay, now that we're getting money a lot faster in this mode, it is time we start upgrading this guy. And so far, we got it to level 4. Which isn't bad, but we're going to need a lot more higher levels to get it to a very nice level. Or not level, but damage. You get what I mean. There we go. Once again, the wave has skipped. So now it is level 5, meaning we have two more levels to go for this upgraded version. Okay, now we can get it to level 6, meaning we have one more upgrade to go. And honestly, I'm probably going to put some pressure on this guy by skipping skipping the waves just to see how good it's gonna really do and i don't know how big the range of the rocket is but it is gonna do massive amounts of damage apparently okay we have a rocket toilet coming through bro and i'm pretty sure it's actually gonna just straight up lose before it gets here yeah it couldn't even make it to the barrier that's why i really recommend the engineer it is such a good character and now as soon as this guy attacks we should have enough money and we do but we can't upgrade it because our guy just got stunned so as soon as it stops getting stunned i will be able to upgrade it and we can go ahead and check out how good it is bro it is literally stunned for so long okay there we go and there it is look it actually has a massive rocket bro oh my god look at how much damage it is doing and it is an aoe damage meaning this guy is actually so overpowered now i am pretty sure the scientist tv van is now like a must carry character because not only does it have the defense of the wall but it also gains health over time and it shoots massive aoe rockets so it's doing a lot of splash damage and i'm gonna go ahead and actually place down another one of them like somewhere right here i think would be good so right there i think is a smart placement and then we can go ahead and start upgrading him as well here we go we have it at level six right now it's almost level seven and i really want to test the range with this one like how far can it actually shoot the rockets because if the range is insane then this guy's gonna be a very overpowered unit okay let's go ahead and try it out and there we go now it is max so it's attacking everything that is very close to it but it is getting all the way down there i mean it is technically close but let's see whenever it actually starts defeating a lot of these guys and just for security purposes i'm gonna place down this guy but he did just kind of get stunned bro everything i placed down is literally getting insta stunned it looks like though when the thing does get stunned it doesn't stop the rockets from shooting but it is now back and let's see how far is the range because it doesn't actually tell you and come on can it attack stuff all the way down there and okay no it can't the closest it can attack is right here so the range is actually still really good and it is doing splash damage where all of these uh guys are coming close together so this is a very good character 
I definitely recommend getting the scientist TV man if you guys can because right now it is literally in its broken phase. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, watch the video on the screen. Um, it's one of my best videos yet and I promise you will enjoy it. And until then, have a great rest of your day.